It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports, and the wait is over for this rivalry game. It's the New York Giants and the Philadelphia Eagles, and it's all up next. It's the NFL on EA Sports as you take a look there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Well, straight ahead, we've got a rematch from last year's NFC Divisional Round 2 as it'll be the New York Giants taking on the defending NFC champs, the Philadelphia Eagles. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Well, what a season it was for these Eagles and these Philly fans last year. An 8-0 start. 14 and 3 final record, two blowout wins in the NFC playoffs before coming up a bit short in Super Bowl 57. And a good thing for Philadelphia is they try and get back to the Super Bowl. Many of the key pieces they had last year are back. Remember, this is the number three offense in the league, number two defense, and they threw in a heck of an NFL draft. They expect to contend one more time. Meanwhile, for the Giants, what a turnaround last season in year one of the Brian Dable era, Charles. Yes, they finished behind the Eagles and Cowboys, but they did win nine games and one more for good measure at Minnesota in the wild card round. Talk about establishing a new base, a new culture, and getting into the playoffs while doing it. So tough to beat this Giants team in the fourth quarter. They expect that to continue. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. So here are the Giants ready to start their initial drive of the game. And they will be led out by the youngster, the rookie, their QB. For every rookie prospect, there are always nerves involved in this moment. Running your team out to start a game. But there's a reason they brought him in. We're willing to make him their starter today. They believe he can overcome those nerves and lead his team to a victory. We saw him do it at the collegiate level and really make himself into a leader and someone you can envision doing the exact same thing here in the NFL. Now a two-time Pro Bowler coming off a big year, Saquon Barkley. And a short pickup to about the 27. It'll be second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 13 yards, good for a giant first down. Just the first quarter, but tackling going to be so important going forward. They've got to limit plays like that. And that's something when you see it happen early in the game and they don't get him on the ground, you can always tell that they were concerned about it going in. Because I can just tell you from my days, I remember being in college and worrying all offseason about our season open opponent, and they had a receiver that could shake and bake with the best of them. I tackled him on the first pass of the game, and the relief was incredible. Ended up having a pretty decent ball game. But if I had missed him, it <laughs> would have been, been a been different a story. Long night. And we're at the 41, second and nine. He'll drop to throw. Pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And every game we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you play a good zone defense behind them and they get their first sack of the contest. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Under pressure and they got to him again. Barry for the sack by Big J and Carter. Now make that a second sack here on their first drive out defensively and not to get ahead of ourselves, but they're, they're on pace for double-digit sacks at this point. Well, they're going to have to find a way to tamp that down, aren't they? So if you're the play caller, you're telling your quarterback maybe some screens, maybe some draws, hard count, use your voice inflection a little bit, anything to try and slow that pressure down. Taken in at the 22. A 45-yard punt, four there on the return. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. 
So here come the Eagles, the defending NFC champs, led out by a man who was the runner-up to Patrick Mahomes at MVP balloting a season ago. Of course, that's Jalen Hurts. Tremendous production in college at two different universities, and this is a guy who was a finalist for the Heisman Trophy. Still much more of a runner than a thrower, but has plenty of arm and is capable of making the big throws downfield. And don't underestimate his ability to think the game. Remember, he's the son of a coach. They'll start with the option. And oh, right away, he lost the football. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Still second down. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. That's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. Here's third and three. Now a man picked up on draft night this year, DeAndre Swift. And he is going to have an Eagles first down, I do believe. Yes, he's got it by about a yard there on third and three. A lot depending on the spot there, and he got it. But it wasn't by much, was it? I remember Coach Madden talking about, depending on which foot the official used, that would tell you whether you had the first down or not. You want that upfield foot to be the one that spots the ball, don't you? And you and I have the luxury of a couple extra views here in the booth, and he did get it, but not by much. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. And that one will go for 13 yards on the keeper. And a first down. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane and he keeps it himself there and worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it. Most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. So back-to-back -back big runs picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. They didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. But first down, it hurts. Complete. Smith has it. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. On first and ten, it's Swift. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your old line to set the tone of dominance and physicality, and pound the rock. Line of scrimmage, the nine. Second and about a yard. Now the third-year man. Here's Kenneth Gainwell. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. Some good strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. From the two, here's first and goal. Swift is not going to get back to the line of scrimmage as they'll tackle him at the three. 
That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. It looks like they quit hitting the snooze button on their alarm there. Finally, a sign of life from this defense. They've been fairly passive on this opening drive. Now able to stand up on first and goal, and they sent that play backwards. Swift again. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. DeAndre Swift. Touchdown run. And the Eagles get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. So both sides of the football contributing here early. Their defense forces the punt, and then the offense takes it down the field and punches it in on the short touchdown run. And, Brandon, that's good complimentary football, and that's what they're going to need if they want to get out of here victorious. Elliott good with a PAT, and that makes the score 7-0. A 10-play drive that time, and it ends with a three-yard scoring run. Now, after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. The last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Try and start this drive in the air. Eagle pressure. Too much this time. Down he goes. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Yeah, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game. I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what. When he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. He'll look to throw. Open target here, Darius Slayton. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And that'll force upon him a third and 14. So the completion there, but Charles, looking at this defense, certainly in for a tough task here this afternoon. What are some of the keys for them if they want to come out on top? Well, the first thing, partner, is they just allow the completion there. They don't want to get a string of those going. Let him get his confidence. Let him get into the... Under pressure, and down he goes. That time, multiple defenders getting pressure, and it's a loss of six. These sacks now, they're starting to pile up, Charles, and that front seven defensively, they've had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this stage, we have to start thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the entire game, he's been under siege. I don't care what the down and distance, they've got to get the ball out of his hands a lot quicker. We'll call that a 49-yard punt with a return of just two. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. Well, just two series in here, Charles, but everything's gone to script so far. They got a touchdown on their first drive. Their defense holds, and now they've got a chance to take a two-score lead. And to co-sign with you, exactly the start they scripted up. And really, that kind of start, that can set the tone for the game for them. On first and 10, it's Hurts. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Two yards to go, second down. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? And he got a little aggressive too early. And he did, wanting that quick takeoff as the ball was snapped, but 
I think sometimes those big guys on offense, they're pretty cagey too, right? They make those little sudden moves or those little subtle moves that get you to jump. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Second and ten. Hurt sets up to throw it. And that one's going to come up a little short. It's incomplete. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed always different no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. Hurts. Gets around him. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Open man has got it, the tight end. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. 23 yards on the play. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early, and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect here for another nice gain for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well, exactly as he drew it up in practice. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you you're, want two. <laughs> you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Now second quarter action from Philadelphia, and it's the Eagles in possession. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. As they've got it as we resume action. And they'll run again. And not a whole lot there as they'll get him down at about the two. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. This is third and goal. And this Giants defense, they have withstood the test thus far. They'll run with Swift. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Only a yard that time, so now a decision to be made here on fourth and goal. Defense didn't budge on third down. Now what are we going to see on fourth? We are soon to find out, but does this feel like old school football or what? Oh, right? yeah. This is an old-fashioned goal line stand. I know what I would call on offense. I would go for it. And I want some type of a play where my quarterback has a chance to run it or throw it. I don't just want one static play. The kick by Elliott is good. So another scoring drive there, Charles, and an early two-score lead. You'd like the six there, partner, but you'll take the three, and I think they have to be happy about the way they moved the ball in these first two drives. They have to feel good about their opportunities the rest of the game. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And he returns this to the 22. And New York set to take the field. 
They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. They'll start out on the ground at Saquon Barkley. And yeah, not much doing there. Maybe a yard up to the 23. I think they want to start getting back into this game. It behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. Now second and nine. They're going to look to throw. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Hadn't met a quarterback yet that didn't enter the league with a massive chip on his shoulder. If he wasn't a first-round pick, they want to show the league that they made a big mistake. Determined to get the first down there, no hesitation at all to tuck it and go. I bet he would have tried to run through their entire defense if it meant reaching that marker. They'll look to throw now on first down. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble. That could have been trouble. We always hear a lot of veterans on the defensive side of the football. They talk about smelling blood in the water, putting pressure on a rookie. They got to him there to force it free, but couldn't recover it. And you mentioned the pressure. Rookie quarterback, you're going to bring more pressure at him at all times because you don't know how he's going to hold up. He was fortunate there. Luck was on his side, able to recover that fumble. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. They'll look to throw. Being chased out. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Josh Schwett rushing in and bringing him down to the ground. I'm starting to wonder if this offensive line just simply doesn't like him. I mean, they've given up six sacks in this game. He's had nowhere to go, nowhere to run, and obviously nowhere to hide. And all those sacks in the first half, this is just complete domination. Gets this out to Saquon Barkley. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. They pick up 10, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? Now here's Gillen on now to punt as he gets this one away. Fair catch called. It's taken in right at the 20-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. Here's Hurts to throw. They'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle, it doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Second down and three. On oh, the option to give the swift here. 
And maybe a little over pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25 yard line. 52 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. Throwing his hurts. The throw right side here going to be incomplete. They had their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. They go play action with Hertz. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. Chris Watkins, 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Eagles are able to add on to that lead. And partner, they found a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening. But they found the opening and exploited it. Elliott now to add the extra point. He's got it, and it's 17-0. So the drive there took six plays, and it was capped off by an Eagles touchdown. For the touchdown. Here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee and they'll start at the 25. And the Giants ready to come out now. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you don't down. don't want to. No, but oh, let me finish. Okay, my bad. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's That's not a good combination. I think you just you called it. I think you just called a desperation time. I, I think did. you did. But yeah. let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating, to use a boxing analogy. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. On second down, here's Barkley. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. The Giants on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and four. They'll drop to throw. And he is caught. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Now a play fake here on first down. They'll get five out of the scramble, hit second down. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. Now second and five. Now back to throw. As this complete to Daniel Bellinger. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 35. That one good for 16 as the drive continues. Now that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. 
They'll look to throw here. Forced out to his left. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. Brandon, once that one broke down, there were only so many options left for him to take. Fortunately, only first down, so he smartly got the yardage he could get and didn't worry about trying to turn it into a bigger play and end up taking a bigger loss. Here, they hope they can regroup and get something different going here on second down. Here's second and eight. The short throw pulled in by Bellinger. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. A first down carry for Barkley. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Second and five. Out route pass complete to Bellinger. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. This is first and goal and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. Back to throw. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. Boy, that was certainly well read defensively. And the key to any screenplay is space to work. And there was none to be found there. And they tackle him for just a short game. And the ball smack dab on the five yard line. Here's second and goal. Looking to throw. Steps away to his left. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Giants are able to cut into that deficit. Hey, you're down on the scoreboard, but now your offense is in close, and this is where, as a quarterback, you say, I've got to make a play here. Doesn't matter whether it's a pinpoint throw or a scramble like this one. He takes matters into his own hands and delivers a touchdown run. Extra point by York is up and good. And that'll cut the lead to 17-7. New York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. Boston Scott on the return from his end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Well, let's shine the spotlight on the former Georgia Bulldog, DeAndre Swift, who's set to begin this next drive. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. Hurts throw there taken in by Smith. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll set up a throw. Oh, and that is incomplete. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free.
Here's second and ten. Back to throw here. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. I really like the angles that the tacklers came from on that play. They secured inside, took away the cutback. The sideline's there, so you can only go so far outside, and they were able to close in and tackle him for a loss. Yeah, they use your boy over there, the 12th man. Sammy Sideline, right? Sammy Sideline, you know something? He tackles pretty well, too. He's tougher than an airport stake. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. Second and a couple. He'll look to throw. He delivers another to Goddard, complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 31-yard line. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. He hit his first. Now this one from 48 yards away. The kick by Elliott is good. And that will do it for this first half. So we've come to halftime here in Philly with the Eagles on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. We were certainly treated to an entertaining first half. Both these teams with some high points and maybe a couple of low points as well. So it's going to be a question of who can be the most disciplined team going forward. All right, the Eagles Coach, got a solid first half on last year's MVP runner-up, Jalen Hurts. He's got a touchdown pass on the ledger as his guys were able to build a double-digit lead. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. The Eagles ready to go on offense to begin quarter number three. But Charles, for them, pretty good first half on the ground. They had some success running the ball in quarters one and two, and they've got the lead now, a chance to expand upon that lead here with their first drive in the third quarter. Yeah, and believe it or not, you and I have noticed that this great game of football has shifted towards pass first, run second. So for me, it's really nice to see some of these teams keeping the ground game as a big component of their offense, and it's working pretty well for them now. And let's face it, they can continue to do damage with it, and in addition, it sets up the pass game really well for them, too. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Now an option play on second down. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. Oh, man, that wasn't far from breaking in a big way into the secondary. 
read option quarterback kept it and while he didn't get a first down he did get a nice chunk of yardage only a nice tackle prevented it from maybe going all the way Hertz sets up to throw it and that's going to be incomplete the contact there enough to jar that ball free and it brings up fourth down Oh, I thought he had that one, and that was nearly a big third down conversion to give this drive some life. Instead, they're on the spot and help separate the receiver from the ball. The Eagles send out their punter now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And it'll be giant football first and ten. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Pass is caught by Rondale Robinson. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. And that's one of the better plays we've seen this offense put together so far. They haven't been able to get on track much at all. But listen, they're only down a couple of scores with the rest of this quarter and the entire fourth remaining. So, stranger things have happened. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll set up to throw. Ball along the left side by Hyatt. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. And they get 17 more on that one and another first down. A couple of first downs right in succession. And this is an offense that can really use a good drive. And they're off to a fast start here. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 48-yard line. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. This is where the NFL is headed year by year, partner. A league where just about everyone has someone under center who can get you with their legs as well as their arm. And we've certainly had a nice display of that from both QBs in this game. And that continued with that first down run. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. Now a second and ten. They'll try the right side here. Barkley. And not even back to the line of scrimmage this time as they're on him quickly once more. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. I know they'd love to take some heat off of that young quarterback, but so far, not much in the running game. And this won't help things either. A loss on that play. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll look to throw. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Multiple rushers break through to drop him for the seventh time this game. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. Here's Jamie Gillen now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. They'll start by running the option to the right. Shifts by him at the 25. And he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. 
Six yards there on the keeper. It's second down. Well, that's what he can do you know, when he keeps the football. It's not a huge gain, but it shows how hard it can be to stop him. Yeah, and I thought the defense had that one pretty well contained. And in fact, they probably came up and felt pretty good about what they did. Then they looked up and realized he still got good yardage out of it. He's a tough guy to stop. On second down, Swift. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. On first and ten, it's game one. Takes it to about the 37. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. From the 37, they work on second and six. Now they'll fake it there on the jet sweep, and instead, here's Swift. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. Well, partner, they've been running it well the entire game, and the big guys up front, they're a huge reason why. And now they're reaping the benefits as they continue to open up big holes and gain nice yardage. Hurts. And it'll find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down, and he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. A full start backs him up five, first and 15. Swift going to try up the middle. And he's going to get this past the 50 and into giant territory. 68 yards rushing for him now to this point. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. So from just across the midfield stripe, here's second and nine. Here's Hurts to throw. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. Throwing his hurts. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. The Eagles send out their punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin him back. Another drive coming up for New York's offense. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well... I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. We've seen the pressure get to him several times in this game. There, though, we see him escape it. And we've seen this rookie video before as well. That type of pressure, oftentimes, what do you resort to? Your legs try and escape. What you hope is that this doesn't become habit for him, that he learns how to handle the pressure, still keep his eyes downfield, and make some throws. 
Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Second and seven, operating from the 34. They're going to look to throw. Going right side, he finds Slayton. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Now, that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, a tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. And give him about five as he gets this up to the 48-yard line. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Here's a second and five. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 41-yard line. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. There he goes, and for good reason. Running with it has paid dividends earlier in this game and earlier on this drive. And until they prove they can stop him, I don't think he's going to be shy about continuing to run for first downs instead of airing it out. Running left, it's Barkley. And a pretty good run there as he gets seven down to the 33. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Now second and three. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Call it a loss of five, a big sack to bring up third down. And you get the feeling, Charles, yeah, he's got the two sacks now, but he may get more here. He's still got a quarter and then some to go. And the way that he is playing this game, it reminds me of one of the best golfers in the world who can use every club in the bag and make a great shot. That's what he's doing with his back. Under pressure, they got him again. Patrick Johnson providing a little deja vu back-to-back -back sacks, and now they're staring at a fourth and long. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has not received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. Here's Jamie Gillen now as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. And Philadelphia's offense ready to go again. This is sort of what you would call the put-away drive, is it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, you think you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? Kayvon Thibodeau, he beat the O-line and recorded the sack. Well, we've seen him escape similar situations earlier in the game and get away from pretty good yardage, and that time they get him down. Yeah, they've had enough evidence that he can get away and run for good yardage, haven't they? That time it felt like, okay, enough of this. Let's play it the right way and get him on the ground before he does any damage. Three quarters have come and gone. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. On the option to give to Swift here. And he'll get this up over the 25 to the 26. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. The Eagles on third down. They've hit four of seven. This is third and 11. 
He'll look to throw. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33. Pretty solid gain of seven yards that time as he scrambled, but now they face a fourth down. That was a good effort there, trying to do it on his own, but as a defender, you're in a tough spot because you have coverage responsibilities behind you, and if you take off too quick to try and get him down, he might loft it over your head. So better to track with your man defensively than try to go up and make a stop on the quarterback. Exactly right. What you're hoping is that your guys in the front seven can get him down. And he'll get credit for putting him inside the 20 as the fair catch is made right at about the 19-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. They begin with a run by Barkley. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to Huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Second and six. Throw here's incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's not locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me, it's like throwing a no hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. Out of the gun now on third down. Eagle pressure, too much this time. Down he goes. More than one defender there, and that's a loss of five on the sack. And you hate to say it with a rookie quarterback. He's done some good things, but overall, looked a little bit overwhelmed back there, hasn't he? He certainly has, but in his defense, he hasn't had a lot of time to throw the football. You like the way I said that? In his defense. In his defense, I got it. You yeah. see what I did there? Yeah. He needs better protection, that's for sure. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. The Eagles coming out as they get ready. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at about the 32. On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. Bobby O'Karake making that tackle. So fourth quarter, a nice run there to start this drive. Charles, what do you think the split will be here between run and pass? Well, partner, I think it'll lean towards the run, but this is also not a time where you just totally do that. You still have to possess the ball, move the sticks, and keep the clock moving as well. So they'll run their offense, but yeah, when they have a chance to run it, they'll do that a little bit more. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. 137 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously, but at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. Here's Swift. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL, and he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time, so make sure you get in shape. A touchdown saving tackle there. Now it's third and goal. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Let's go. Let's go. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. 
from the gun. It's Hurts. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts finding A.J. Brown. And the Eagles have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. He's got them out now to a three-score lead here in the fourth quarter after that one, C.D. And, well, he looked right off the line like he knew that that ball was coming his way, and he secured it for six points. Yeah, and I think when you're leading by a healthy margin already, it actually loosens you up and allows you to take maybe a few more chances and definitely play with more confidence because he certainly saw something he could exploit in the defense, and he made sure to let his quarterback know. Just get it to me. And the rest was all up to him, and he delivered and made it a three-score game. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. Here's the giant offense now as they get ready to take over here. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Eagle. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return. Touchdown. Second time he's lost a fumble. This one hurts more. It's return for six. He's been under a lot of duress, hasn't he? Pressured, hurried, harassed the whole game. Well, well the not, offensive line not giving him a lot of help. Not a lot of help, but the bottom line, he's got to take care of the football. Elliott on for the extra point. It's up and good, and they're in control now. 35 to 7. So not only the cough up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way. The fumble return for a touchdown. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. And now out come the Giants. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. 
Another pass attempt, another incompletion. You, you figure defensively, you're in the fourth quarter here. You've held the team under 100 yards passing. You've done your job. Especially in today's NFL, which is truly a pass-first league. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Back to throw. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. That is caught, and he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. They'll look to throw again. Flush to his right. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. Fortunately for him, that ball stayed close so that he could recover it on his own. And you know the prayers that were going through his head as the ball escaped from him? <laughs> How happy was he at the end of it when he found the football again, able to retain possession? On third down, he'll drop to throw. And he's going to go down again. Fletcher Cox able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. Partner, my vocabulary isn't that great, but to me, there's only one word that fits this front seven today, and that's dominant. Four and five sacks is already rare in one game. Getting to more than six in one contest while winning by this many points, an absolutely astounding effort by every player involved. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. The Giants go on fourth but come up empty. And the Eagles are going to take over in great field position. Uh, being just short of midfield, they decide to take a crack at it on fourth down. They don't come through. Sometimes it's just showing confidence in your defense. You know that they're good and they'll take care of you. A lot of coaches during the week will announce to their team, we're going to be aggressive, guys. We're going to go for it. Hey, defense, you got me? <laughs> A little bit of a challenge to them to see if they'll pick up the rest of the team. We'll see how they respond now. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. From the gun, here's Swift. And not much running room. Down to the 32. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. And a good-looking run there as he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18-yard line. 152 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Second down and eight. On oh, the option to give to Swift here. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. 
Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. That time they're able to bottle him up, but he's having a really nice game. I agree with that. Let's just go big picture, right? Every back that's in the Hall of Fame had carries where they didn't gain yardage or they lost yardage, but you stick with them, don't you? When they're having a good game, keep feeding them. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. I think it's fairly safe to call this game over, but they're still trying to bomb it downfield and add to their lead. Almost makes you start to feel for the defense and root for them a little bit, too. So Hertz is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. A 33-yarder from the left hash. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. On the return, here comes Eric Gray. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The New York set to take the field. And last time, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. We'll see if they can pick themselves up off the mat and do better this go around. Sometimes I have this vision of coaches writing notes to themselves before a game. And sometimes that note says, be aggressive, stay aggressive. Maybe that's what we saw in the last possession. Yeah, they were very aggressive. This time, will it result in points? We'll find out. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Gets this out to Saquon Barkley. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. And that's not a play that you see all that often at the start of a drive, but some teams, they don't mind doing it. And that one, well sold by the offensive linemen. They showed the pass, and then they got out into space, able to get some good blocks downfield and allow the play to be successful. Back to throw now on first down. He finds him again, Saquon Barkley. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. 10 yards, good for a giant first down. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. On first down, he'll drop to throw. They'll get this out to Barkley complete, and they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Again, he'll drop to throw. Short throw, gonna be caught by Waller. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there, it's gonna artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Back to throw again. They'll set up a screen for Breida. And he is going to lose yardage here. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. Oh, partner, when you see a screen pass and the defensive tackle ends up making the play, you know that one wasn't sold well at all because he should be upfield by the time you throw the pass. If not, you end up with big trouble, as we just saw right there. Second and 13. This one goes out wide for Barkley. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. He's been a busy man here in this one, and they're showing off some nice footwork to stay in bounds. And with those types of catches and the volume that we've seen in this game, wouldn't you keep him busy as well? I would. Of course. you got to <laughs> keep throwing it to him. He keeps making plays. 
He'll drop to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. So it's a victory here for the Philadelphia Eagles. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. The Eagles are winners here as we say so long from Philadelphia.